So I recently released a tutorial on how to group and ungroup things inside UE5 for faster environment creation. And the question was, can you export an entire group as FBX from UE5 so you can use it inside your 3D model and application? And the answer is yes, you can. So here's a quick tip on how to do this. So once you have a set of objects that have been grouped inside UE5, you can go ahead and export everything that's selected within that group by making sure it is selected, then go into file and export selected. And you actually don't have to have these objects part of the group as long as you have them selected. But in our case, they are already within a group. So a single click makes that selection. And then by going to file, export selected, choose a folder where you want to export this FBX file. Make sure that save as type is FBX, and that is, and give it a name. I'll name this grouped table. Then click save. Then FBX export options menu will pop up and here you get to choose what type of data you want to export within this file. So I'm gonna leave everything at default and show you what it actually gives you. And then we'll come back here and I'll give you the options that you actually need to export to choose in order to export everything properly. So I'm gonna just uh, keep everything as it is and choose export. Then inside your modeling application, in my case, it's gonna be Maya, go to file, import, and choose the FBX file you exported, grouped table, and click import. And here it is. Now, when you export, you also export collisions if you had any collisions on that object. So when you select it, you can see it has an object, and then it also has collisions associated with that object. And I actually don't want any collisions exported, or if you do, you'd, you'd have to delete them. And also there's a slight problem with some of the meshes, like right here, that little detail, the handle, that's completely gone. And you might uh, have some of these inconsistencies from the model inside UE5, and then when you export it inside your modeling package. So we need to control a few properties. So let's go ahead and well, let's start a new scene. And let's go back into UE5 and export properly. So I'm gonna make sure I have the grouped, all the grouped objects selected again. Then let's export. Let's go to file, export selected. And in this case, I'm going to name it, but I'm gonna give uh, a different name. So there is no confusion between the file types. Basically we're exporting as a new file name to make sure that everything gets exported as a brand new FBX file. So I just, I'll just give it zero one. Click save and then the few options that you want to make sure you have disabled or enabled is export source mesh. When you enable this, the entire source mesh will be exported and you're going to get all the detail that you're supposed to have on the mesh. And you're not going to have those handles be loose or some other parts of your geometry be broken. So I'm going to click this and you can see that collisions are disabled by default. And then you can go through and, uh, Disable or enable anything else you want to export with type of data. Uh, that's all I need right here. Export source mesh. That's what I need. The entire mesh. And then I'm going to click export. Then back in Maya, let's go to file, import, and choose the new export file. And let's go ahead and take a look. And here uh, we have all the detail that's supposed to be on the mesh. Uh, the entire mesh will be triangulated. So you're not going to get the quads, but that's just part of exporting things from a game engine. Everything is triangulated. And then all the meshes that were part of the group are now separate objects. And in my case, I also had cables. Uh, cables is a different beast because uh, those cables inside UE5 were a blueprint cable with static meshes kind of associated with it. And for every spline point and for every, you know, kind of a uh, blueprint generation of those cables, uh, you, you're going to get those meshes uh, that are separate meshes. But if you don't have cables and a blueprint cable, then you, know, you don't have to worry about it. All the meshes are now exported from UE5, from the grouped object, and imported properly into Maya or your 3D application.